What is going on YouTube? I said that I'd be doing more stuff lately and like I said I just got really busy so I wanted to start doing videos, content, just getting back into the loop. I've been watching your guys' stuff however, like every time I get home I just didn't have the motivation to do anything myself. Okay, new zombie deck. I call it Tally Chaos Zombies because it runs light, dark, and it's kinda anti-monster too. Um, I don't know, I don't like playing Dimensional Fisher or Macrocosmos, but I like running a control type thing to where I can force my opponent, opponent's plays, and that's kind of what I'm going for with this. I made it about two weeks ago, and um, I don't know, I've just been playtesting a lot of my locals, not really a whole lot I can do with it until we hit the next format list, because I might get more stuff to use in this deck. But um, I'll go over the cards, the monsters, choices in cards, and I'm doing this kind of quick, but uh, just wanted to zoom over it real quick, and why I'm using certain things, okay? So, I'm running the zombie engine, <coughs> excuse me, I know Spirit Reaper doesn't count, but he's a great wall, and, I mean, there's just so much you can do with him. So you have Spirit Reaper, Mizuki, Triple Goblin Zombie, he's like Sangan, I mean, you really can't go wrong with him. Plague Shredder, one of the best tuners in the game, Sangan, Triple Thunder King Ryo, two Krabbins, one Psychic Commander, two Cyber Dragons, one DD Warrior Lady, one Effect Veiler, one Gen Accelerate Birdman, one Gores. Boss monsters for the deck, Dark Arm Dragon, BLS, Chaos Sorcerer, Spells, 2 Emergency Teleport, 2 Pot of Duality, 2 Mystical Space Typhoons, then your Stables, Book, Allure, Heavy, Burial, Dark Hole, Monster Reborn, Traps, that's right, I'm using Traps again, it's actually kind of fun, 2 Torrential, 1 Mirror Force, 1 Dimensional Prison, 2 Warning, okay, choices in the deck, and why I'm running certain things. First of all, <clears throat> favorite card to run, Thunder King Ryo. I mean, before I started playing Dark Worlds for a bit, this is a guy that I always like using because he stops your opponent's plays. And just, I was playing so many Insectors at my locals, he was useless to me half the time. Like, they were just running him over. Well, not even running him over because they don't fight, they just pop. <clears throat> I'm running the Zombie Engine with the Psychic Engine for purely synchro reasons. Every time this guy synced out, I get a search. When I get a search, I have another opportunity you know, to make bigger synchro monsters. Why I like running them is because when I open this guy with emergency teleport, I already have a six to put on board. I'm deck thinning and I'm searching out getting everything I want. You know, this manipulates a hand, this is a free special. Just there are so many things I do. Now double cyber dragon. Most people who main a cyber dragon use one copy. And I think that's cool. But I found that sometimes that first guy is getting solemn warning to bottom list. And that works twice as well for me because the first one baits out the warning of the bottomless. And sometimes I have two in hand. With the new tins coming out, a lot of people are going to have Zen mains. And even now I'm seeing that more people are playing and it just, it's a free special. I mean, I clear their board and I bring out this guy. There's nothing wrong with that. Birdman. This guy was never not good. I don't know why people don't use him anymore. He's a level 3, so I mean, you can still XYZ. Which isn't the focus of this deck because... Most of what you're going for here is synchros, because if you don't sync this guy out, if you don't sync this guy out, you're not going to get your searches, and that's what we're going for, deck thinning and getting everything, getting the engine going. Combining the zombie engine with the psychic engine sounds kind of weird, but all you're really trying to do is special summon, then at the deck, get all your combo pieces and go for game. Especially because they're kind of contradictory for this guy, but when I open this guy, it's because I'm usually not having one of these in hand yet, so I'm waiting on it. And then, you know, once I'm ready, I'll go off on him. Plus, he sells him for a quick second. Oh, tech of the deck. I like running DD Warrior Lady because when I'm playing Dino Rabbit, they always open Lagia, so it's just convenient to set her and then banish their stuff. One effect failure. I'd be running more than one, but I just only had one at the time, and I just picked one up again yesterday. Now, you might be asking yourselves, why wouldn't I have more than one in my deck? Well, when you're playing Skill Drain Dark Worlds, you don't need them. So I traded off all my extra ones, and then when I went back to meta style, I found that I needed them again. So, <clears throat> don't trade stuff that you might need later. That's the lesson. These guys right here are kind of self-explanatory. I mean, just three darks in the grave. Light and dark, light and dark. I'd like to add another one, but I don't know what to take out yet. I'm still playtesting, and it's just really hard to figure out what to do. Obviously, I run two because this card is at two. Now, I mean, we're about to hit a new format. I... Wouldn't be surprised if we saw this card come back to 3, and this guy at 2, which would completely change how I play the deck. 
in a good way too. Like I look forward to it. <laughs> I look forward, or not? I don't even look forward. I like the fact that I can make any synchro in my deck quite easily. Um, the traps self-explanatory. I should be running a judgment if I'm gonna play the brigade, but I, mean, I don't know. I might even just trade this out for a judgment so I have more options for negating. And then we'll go to the extra deck. Okay, so one of these, that's for Zen Mains and Machines. Mocking the Gadgets are still pretty big around here. One level 4, like that, two level 4s. One My Strike, one Utopia. Sorry if my throat's a little, like, scratchy sounding. Armory Arm. Still a good card. I mean, you run Light and Darks, you can set up your graveyard for these guys. Well, these two, actually. And then, you know, Special them, Sync this. I mean, easiest way for me to get it is just Spirit Reaper and Baylor, but that sets up my graveyard perfectly for syncing them out and then going for game because 4,000, 4,000 is game. Android, light target, and I mean, she's just a good, good level 5 platform. Cadister, staple. Brionic, staple. Hades, basically the main reason why I love zombies because when he's on the field, all your zombies negate everything and it's like having skill drain but not having to be <laughs> worried about the effect of it yourself. Orient Dragon. The day I almost took him out was the day I needed him. I was playing Black Wings on Dual Network and they brought out Armor Master and he was about to run me over. And I was like, man, it's a good thing I kept Orient Dragon because every time you guys think about taking out a card, rethink it at least 800 times because that's when you're going to need it. Like every time I think about taking out a card, that's when it most comes useful. Like Cyber Dragon, I was going to put it down to one. I felt two was too much too. And it just never works out like that. Plus, I mean, this guy plus E-Teleport is level eight. They're, everyone has preference and I built this set to my play style and how it works for me. And it's been running great. It's, I don't get run over at all, very much at all. Level 6, I like using him with Goblin Zombie off the back because he's a good level 6 and he's a beater. Black Rose, I make this card every time I feel like clearing the field, which is, I almost want to run too because I use Cyber Dragon for it. I use, you know, my level 4s plus Emergency Teleport. I just, I've never found myself making 7 so much in all my life and I'm only running him. I think I should either run 2 of him or an Ancient Fairy Dragon. Void Ogre. Um... Shein, I mean, everyone should know what he does by now because you've probably all been, you know, trolled by it and you probably just assumed he was a beater or he did this and that and then you saw why your opponent brought him out. He's good. Scrap. Still one of the best cards in the game for, like, level 8 synchros. Stardust Dragon and Thought Roller. This is the first Thought Roller I've actually ever had because, you know, I played in high school. That was, like, seven years ago. Quit the game you know, got back into it last year, so, you know, I barely found out about synchros and all that stuff, and, you know, this guy is easily one of the best synchros, and, I don't know, he's just amazing. So that's basically it, the deck, you know, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or, you know, this is on Dual Network if you guys want to play, I, my Dual Network tag is the same as my YouTube channel, just, just my first and last name, I'm about to do a Dark World deck profile right now, okay?